So today we are going to start this Friday together with our practice, Root and Flow. Welcome yourself to this practice, Root and Flow. And in child pose, you can focus on the sensation of your body and on the sensation of your breath flowing in and out your body. You can close your eyes. You relax your gaze. And you breathe. <clears throat> Deeply breathing in through the nose and out to your through your mouth or through the nose. Let it go. Welcome all the sensation that you feel observe the breath and in this position you are so close to mother earth then of course you can just feel yourself rooted and protected from Mother Earth. And this is the meaning of this practice today. Feel yourself rooted. Just take a couple of breaths here, just for you. <clears throat> deep, deep inhale and long exhale. Let's do it together, feeling the energy in this virtual room, inhaling. And exhale it out. Inhaling now, come into your all fours, grounding your hands and tuck your toes. And exhaling your cat pose, round the upper back and look to your navel. Inhaling, arch the lower back, open the chest. Gaze forward, cow, and exhaling, round the upper back, and look at your navel. Inhale, arch the lower back, open the chest, gaze forward, and maybe up. Keep the neck long, and exhaling, round the upper back and gaze to your navel. Let's do one more round. Inhale, open the chest, arch the lower back, look forward and up. And exhaling, round. And from here, just lean forward and tuck your toes, press down, root down into your mat, and just lower down in Chaturanga, smoothly transition here. The feet are long, the hands are slightly rotated outward. Shoulders pull you up 
through your ears and then back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Rise up in a baby cobra, inhaling. Open the chest, exhaling. Release down to the earth. Inhale, let's do one more time. Shoulders roll up and back, squeezing the shoulder blade. Root down through your hands into the ground and open the chest. Maybe your cobra is growing up and exhaling down, melting into the ground. Let's do one more round. Inhale, roll the shoulders up and back, elbow near to your body and open your chest, cobra. Exhaling, lower down. Tuck the toes. Press down to your hands, root down in your all four, and exhale it out, back in your child pose. Inhaling, all four, and exhaling, tuck your toes, and flow in your down facing dog. In your first dog, of course, you can feel now the hands and the feet rooting down. And that's the meaning of rooting down, feeling your hands, your fingers, your toes, touching the ground. Move yourself as you wish to feel yourself better, to feel your body. And to feel, of course, your breath flowing in and out from your body, in your body. And imagine, this is also a kind of cultivation of imagination that we are breathing together in this room. Inhale. And exhale it out. With the next inhalation, ripple forward in your first plank for today. Your shoulders are coming up over to your wrist. Root down, press down through your hands. And inhaling here, elongate your neck, gaze forward. Exhale it out, knees coming down like feather and child pose. Keep the sensation of rooting down through your hands into the ground, all fours. Tuck the toes, inhale, arch the lower back, look forward, exhale it out, round the upper back and look at your navel. Inhale, lean forward, exhale, chaturanga. Feet are long. Just shoulders up and back for your baby cobra. And exhale it out, grounding again down. Push through your hands, tuck your toes, root down and rise up in your all fours. And then exhaling, push the mat away from you with both hands and flow back in down facing dog. Heels up, inhaling, bend your knees, enter your chest of your pelvis, send your sit bones up to the ceiling or to the sky, and then root down with your heels into the ground. Keep the arch in the lower spine and keep on flowing in plank pose. Inhale, exhale, knee down, child pose. Enjoy this nice warm-up. Let's do one more time. Inhale, all fours. Tap the toes, arch the lower back, open the chest, gaze forward and up. Exhale, round the upper back and gaze to your navel. Inhale, lower. Exhale it out, melting with the ground. 
Inhale, roll the shoulders up and back. Feeling the shoulder blades coming together, cobra. Exhale it out, melting into the ground. Root down, tuck your toes, and all four. Exhaling, down facing dog. So nice. Let's have a walk. So really tiny steps that will lead us to the front of our mat. Maybe you come on your fingertips when you arrive in the middle of your mat, just to allow the spine to stay long. Inhaling, open the chest, suspension, halfway lift. Exhale, lower down. Uttanasana, fold forward. Interlace the fingers on your back. Bend the elbow, allow the shoulders to fall down in the direction of Mother Earth. Allow your neck, your jaw, your head to relax. And then from here, squeeze the elbow together. Keep the knee banded and keep the balance on your heels, rooting down through your feet into the ground and off will lift. And bow forward, you can have as option straightening your arm. Please be gentle in this first warm up. Move yourself if you like. You can also, here in this first warm up, just move gently your legs, which are actually your trunk, if you think yourself that you are like the nature, like the trees. So always grounding, always feeling the roots through your feet, moving gently the upper body from one side to the other side to feel the squeezing in between the shoulder blades, activating the muscle in between the shoulder blades, and then you can dive more toward Mother Earth. Relax your jaw, relax your head, relax your hair. And maybe you can smile to Mother Earth. Inhale. Exhale it out. Bend your elbow. And then from here, inch from the pelvis, straight the arm to the side in half willing. And then from here, Rise up in mountain pose. Arms go up to the sky, inhaling. And then exhale it out, hands in front of your heart. Namaste. Inhale here. Exhale it out. Now lift up your toes. This is about to feel a little bit more the grounding, the roots, lift the toes <laughs> and spread your toes. Now you feel maybe more your balance on your heels and then record the distanciation. And if it's possible, this is really a connection with your mind, mind and body, just root down just with your big toe root down the big toe into the earth and then spread the fingers that the, the toes sorry of course you spread also the fingers and then the the other fingers the other toes just grounding and gripping into the ground this will give you this idea of stability and really grounding into the ground keep the sensation just allow your knees to relax and root down, but rise up. The arms goes up to the sky in mountain. And exhaling, come back in Uttanasana, fold forward. Inch from the pelvis for anterior tilt of the pelvis and go down. Halfway lift, inhale. 
and exhaling this time, just open the feet wider, move the toes outwards, and let's go down in Malasana. This is also a really grounding position because you're really close to the earth. Namaste, elbow at the inside of your thigh. And just, you know, honor Mother Earth. It's just like a releasing, rounding a little bit the upper back. And then come back, push the elbow to your thigh, the internal part of your thigh, and elongate your spine. Inhale here and bow to the earth, exhaling, rounding a little bit, a little bit the upper, upper back. Inhale, elongate your spine, push the elbow against the thigh, exhale, bow, and honor mother her. Inhale, and exhale, release the fingertips onto the ground, rise up, straight the legs. Again, the feet are closer to each other, hips width apart. Inhaling, spread the arms to the side, and exhaling, stay here, elongate your spine, but keep the balance on your heels. Inhale, hands on your pelvis, and rise up. Knees are bended, root down, rise up, mountain, flow up, exhale it out, namaste. Okay, let's bring in a flow. Inhale, rise up. Mountain. Exhale, bow to the earth, rooting down the whole time. Inhale, fingertips onto the ground, elongate your spine. Move the feet wider as your mat and the toes slightly out, outward. Exhaling down in your malasana. Elbow to the inside of your thigh, hands in namaste. Inhale, push the thighs away, elongate your spine. Exhale, bow to the earth. Again, inhale, push and elongate your spine. And exhale it out, fingertips onto the ground. The feet are coming back, hips width apart. And bow forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, arms spread, and this time come up directly, and the arms are flowing further up to the sky, exhaling, namaste in front of your heart. Let's do one more round. Inhale, rise up to the sky. Exhale, bow to the earth, root down through your feet, keep on pushing down while you are melting with your heart down. Inhale, halfway lift, move your feet apart and come down, malasana, elbow on the internal thigh, inhale, Push away and elongate your spine. Exhale, releasing you bow to the earth. Inhale, come again, present in the moment. Exhale it out, fingertips onto the ground. Your feet are coming back, hips width apart. Bow forward. Spread the arms outside. Rise up, slow up. Rooting down, flowing up with your branches, which, is, which are your arms, and back to your heart in Namaste. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, bow to the earth. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale now, just Bring it, the left foot back in a lunge pose. Slowly, we are moving slowly. Foundation through your feet. Root down with the front heel down into the earth. Elongate your spine, inhale. And come on your fingertips and round the upper back. And gaze to your navel, exhaling. Inhale, 
gaze forward and the back knee goes slowly flow back into mother earth good inhale here the hands the the arms are staying down just rise up with the upper body stay here of course here you can block on one side on the other side or books or you can stay just here arms are just slowing down but you open the chest you feel good you allow your pelvis to flow down Feel the sensation here, the relaxation in your arms. You are strong in your legs. Don't forget, we are rooting down to flow up with the upper body. Allow also your chin to rise up. Allow the breath to flow freely into your body. Inhaling. Exhale it out. One more round, root down with the front heel, down into the earth, open, elevate your chest, elevate your soul, inhale, and exhale, now root down again, also with your fingertips coming down into the earth, and then from here, just straight the front leg for a half split. Also here, give yourself time, spread the toes of the front foot, the right. Flex the foot, bend the front knee, inhaling straight. And find here your cow, not your calf, not rounding. First, you are present in the moment. And then you can just allow the sit bones, the right, to flow back and up toward the ceiling. And then you find also the melting with the ground with your hair. Inhale, melting down with your hair, with your heart. Exhale. Again, inhale, finding space in the back of your heart. And exhale it out, finding space on the back of your front thigh, hamstring. Bend with the front knee. Let's do in flow. Inhale, and you come up. Your arms are just relaxed near your body. And stay here. Open the chest, rooting down. Exhale, fingertips onto the ground. Straight the front leg, half split, melting down with the heart. With the heart. Inhale, bend the front knee, rise up, rooting down with your feet, with the back knee, but lifting up, slow up with your heart. Exhale, rooting down with the fingertips and straight the front leg, halfa anumasana, melting down with your heart. Let's come back. Inhale, stay with your fingertips into the ground. Just lift up the back knee and step back with the right foot in plank pose. Inhale, lift the pelvis up and round the upper back, rooting down with your hands to create space in the back of your heart. Gaze forward, inhale, lean forward. And your first chaturanga, of course, you can use also this round knee or you can keep the legs straight. Feel the melting down with the, with the front of your body, feeling the roots. And then roll the shoulders up and back. Rise up and cobra. Inhale and exhale it out back in your child pose. All fours, inhale. Exhale, Darwin facing dog. A full breath here, inhale. Observe your physical body. Exhale it out, observe your breath. Inhale. 
root down with your heels down into the earth. Exhale. Inhale, push with your hands the mat away from you. Exhale, allow the back, the arch to stay in the lower back. Inhale, now rise up very slowly, the right leg up to the sky. We are flowing up, so nothing is rushing in the nature. So we are really imitating the nature. Stay here, feel the, the right leg strong and straight. Feel the left foot rooting down. Inhale and exhale, keep the pelvis closed. Lift up the left heel and pull the right knee into the chest, rounding the upper back. Push down, root down with your hands. Inhale, rise up, three-legged dog. Exhale, again, we repeat, the knee pull in into the chest, push down, the upper back is round. Inhale, rise up, flow up slowly. That's the earth line. And exhale it out this time. Keep the knee to your chest. Keep really to push down and lift up the knee, up, up, up toward really your chest and then step to the front. Inhale here and exhale it out. The left foot is coming back. Halfway lift, down, Uttanasana, bow forward. Arms, Spread apart to the side. Arms are flowing up while you are reaching down through your feet. Namaste. Hands in front of your heart. Can you feel your heart beating a little bit faster? Yeah, that's earth line. It's stamina. It's power in your body and, of course, in your mind. Inhale, rise up, rooting down through your feet, mountain. Exhale, bow to the earth. Inhale, half will lift. Let's step with the right foot back in the lunge. Take time, pranayama. Inhale, elongate your spine, lift the back heel up. Exhale, rooting down to the front heel from your back, down into the earth, round the upper back. And allow your hands, you know, to become really ah, free. <laughs> Inhale and exhale like a feather. Just allow the back knee to come down. Inhale, rise up, but the arms are really relaxed, side of your body. Stay here and now just squeeze the feet isometrically to each other. The back knee and the front heel are squeezing the mat isometrically to each other to keep the strength in the leg. And then with the strength, you can just flow forward and down with your pelvis. Arms are really relaxed. Neck, chest are flowing up. A couple of breaths here, inhale. Exhale it out. Inhale. Exhale it out. Inhale, come back. And now exhale it out, fingertips onto the ground, straight the front leg. Flex the front foot, half anumatana, half split. Your, your foot is flexed, spread the toes. Inhale, elongate your spine. And exhale, allow the sit bones, the left side, to flow up and back to the left. And you can bow to the earth and melting your heart down to the front leg. You can relax your head here. Inhale. You are present in the now. And exhaling, relax 
and feel the space in the back of your leg, hamstring, left side. Inhale, exhale it out. Let's do this transition in flow. Bend the front knee, rise up, allow the arms to stay relaxed, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades to each other if you like, and allow your pelvis to melt down. And exhale, house split. Space in the back of your leg, hamstring. Inhale, come back. Open the chest, rise up. Uh, exhale, half split. Create space in your body, in the back of your front leg, hamstring. One more time. Inhale, rise, chest up. Exhale, stay now with your fingertips onto the ground and then lift up the back knee and step back in plank pose. Inhale here, lean forward, keep the power in the house power to your belly and lower down. Find of course your variation here. Roll the shoulders up and back, find your cobra, the feet are long, the hands are rooting down and you open the chest. Exhale, bow to the earth. Inhale, all fours. And down facing dog. Deep, deep inhale. Exhale it out. Deep, deep inhale. Exhale it out. Deep inhale, exhale it out. Root down through your feet and through your hands. This is the earth line. It's really rooting down with hands and feet, fundamentals. Left leg slowly goes up, flow up to the sky. Right heel, you can lift up if you like. And then use the glute to rise a little bit up, but keep the, the, the pelvis squared. Inhale here, spread the toes, and exhale, knee, the left knee, you are pulling into your chest, rounding the upper back, pushing down with your hands, rooting down, and knees coming up to your chest. Heel, the left, is really near to your buttock, okay? Inhale, left up to the sky, exhale, again, pull in. The heel, the left, you keep really close to your buttock to the side, and then you can step to the front in between your thumbs with the left foot. Inhale here, and then exhaling, a giant big step to the front with the right foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow to the earth. Spread the arm to the side and flow up, rooting down through your feet. Inhale, exhale, namaste. One more round. Inhale, rise the arms up to the sky, rooting down through your feet. That's root and flow. And down, bow to the earth. Inhale, off we lift. This time, let's go back to our slow down malasana. You know you have to, yeah, to open the feet a little bit wider. And then inhale here, elbow at the inner tight, push up, push, 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 and open, strengthening. And exhaling, bow. Inhale, now just fingertips, straight the legs, and the feet are again hip width apart. And exhale it out, bow to the earth. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, the left foot step back in your lunge. Inhale and exhale like feather, the back knee is going down. This time, inhale, rise up, and the arms are flowing up this time. And the exhaling, interlace the fingers on your back. Keep always the sensation on in your leg that you are strong. Okay, so in your lower body, you are strong, and you are squeezing in with the front heel and the back knee isometrically and diagonally the mat to each other to feel compact in your pelvis and now we work on the opposite upper side of the body shoulders up and back squeezing the elbow together strengthening and then open the chest if you like you can really straight the arm and your your hands interlace are just facing back. Ah, oh, your heart is going up, flowing up to the sky. Inhale, allow your pelvis to melt down with Mother Earth. Inhale, exhale it out. Inhale, bend your elbow, rise the arms up. And exhale, fingertips into the ground. Let's flow in half split. Flex the foot. Inhale, strengthening, elongate your spine. Exhale, finding space on the back of your front leg and sink. Bend the front knee. Lift up the back heel. Step back. And inhale here. Chaturanga, really slowly. Find your cobra, inhaling, open the chest. Exhale, flow back directly. <laughs> Find your way in your down facing dog. Deep, deep inhale here. Observe what you have built so far with your practice. How do you feel in your body? Exhale it out. <sighs> inhale. Exhale it out. With the next inhalation, the right leg goes up to the sky. Inhale. And the knee, you pull into your chest, rounding the upper back. Exhale. Let's do one more time. Three-legged dog, right leg goes up to the sky slowly. And exhaling, pull first the knee into your chest. Keep. Really the knee high, and then you can elegantly step forward. This time, inhale, stay here, and exhale, bend slightly, slightly the back knee. Round the upper back, activating, of course, your core, and now rise up, rooting down with your feet, rise up in warrior one, arms up to the sky. Keep the legs strong. Do, do you remember? They are your trunk, like a tree. And the arms are like your branches. Up, rooting down from the front heel, feeling from the back, the right side, the energy grounding down into your front heel and then reverse from the ground is coming energy charging your leg charging your trunk and going up warrior one inhale exhale inhale exhale it out Inhale, and now really just the upper body, you want to lean forward, like you want to deliver a packet, <laughs> DHL, you know? Just here, stay 
feel the power in your outer hips, right side, in your buttock, pushing down, grounding, rooting down, but elongate yourself with your upper body to the front diagonally. Inhale and exhale, fingertips into the ground and step to the front, giant step to the front. Halfway lift, exhale, bow to the earth. Spread your branches, your arms to the side, flow up, rooting down through your feet, mountain. Exhale it out, namaste. The other side, same energy, same power wheel. Let's go. Inhale, root down, rise up. That's the name or flow, root and flow. And exhaling, bow to the earth. Now, halfway lift, move your feet for your malasana and lower down to Mother Earth. Malasana really belongs to one of the beautiful poses of the earth line. Feel and elongate your spine. Open the chest, bow to the earth. This is like a prayer to Mother Earth that keep us Safe. Inhale. Elongate your spine. Exhale. Fingertips into the ground. And let's move the feet again. Hips width apart. Bow to the earth. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Step the right foot back. Big step. Lunge. Inhale here. Exhale like a feather. The back knee onto the ground. Inhale, keep on squeezing in both feet diagonally to each other. Rise up. Feel yourself rooted, of course, through the front heel into the ground. And then allow the upper body to flow up while your pelvis is melting down to Mother Earth. But you are flowing up with your heart through the sky. Feel this three-dimensional feeling. You are just in the space. Up is the sky. Down is Mother Earth. Feel yourself rooted, but slow up. Where is your vision? Where are your goals? The practice is just helping us to live a better life, to see new perspective. Inhale. Exhale it out. Inhale. And now rub your fingertips into the ground. Ah, rooting and half split. Flex the foot, straight the leg, elongate your spine, inhaling, exhaling, bow to the earth, and your heart is melting with the front leg. Inhale, come back. Lift up the back heel and then step back in plank pose. Inhale here. Again, root down, press the mat away from you. Lean forward, hollow. Feel the power in your belly, in your core. And with your power, slowly, chaturanga. Lower down. Ah, you are melting really with the front side of your body with Mother Earth. The feet are long. Find the best expression in your cobra. Inhale. And flow back in your down facing dog. Deep, deep inhale. Exhale it out. Left leg goes up to the sky. Inhale. Keep the pelvis squared close here. And then knees into your chest. Exhale, rounding the upper back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, keep the strength in your core. And elegantly, the foot are coming in front between your thumbs. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the back knee. Round the upper back. 
Inhale here, create space in the back of your heart, press down from the back from the from the left side, down into the front heel, root down, rise up, flow up, warrior one. Arms are your branches going up. In between your leg, there is, ah, there is a wall and you are pressing with the internal tide in between. So you are pressing the wall to keep the center. Inhale, keep the front knee 90 degree bended and rise up to the sky with the upper part of your body. So the, from the navel down, you feel rooted. From your navel up, you feel the flow toward the sky. The connection, that's yoga, connection with the world and we are connected in the same room. So nice, thank you for this gift. Inhale, exhale it out. Inhale, and now exhale, back heel up and lean forward. Now you feel, I know you feel on fire, the outer hips the left and your back left side. And you, feel, you, you want to really, you know, confirm this feeling by pressing down the front heel down into the, into the mother earth and then delivering something you like to the world. Yeah, inhale. Exhale it out. <sighs> Pressing down the big toes, the mounts of your big toes, the left side into the ground, feeling the earth line, and then exhale it out. Step to the front. <sighs> Feel the sensation in your leg. Maybe you move a little bit your leg. <sighs> Inhale, how will it? Ah, oh, this was not easy. Exhale, bow to the earth. Bend lightly your knee. Arms are going to the side. Spread your wings. Flow up. External rotation in your arm while you are flowing up, rooting down. And exhale it down. And in front of your heart. Deep, deep inhale. Exhale. Deep inhale. This is Tadasana. Exhale. Release the arms to the side of your body. Tadasana. And as we are starting in September a new journey together with our online immersion, which is called Root and Flow, of course, Tadasana is the first most important position in yoga. It's about feeling yourself home. It's about feeling yourself secure. It's about feeling the earth under your feet, charging your legs that are like the trunk of a tree from down and up to your trunk, to your to your beautiful legs and then in your pelvis and then up to your core and then your branches. And you can just spread your branches in a V, victory form outside. Inhale and exhale, Tadasana, arm near to the side of your body. Good. And as today we um, I'm bringing a lot the metaphor of a tree. Let's do our tree. And then we, I feel we can feel recharged and ready for the day and for the weekend. So you can just step in front of the camera if you like, so that we have really this feeling to stay together in the same room. And then from here, now you really need the feeling of rooting down. So just now repeat the exercise we did at the beginning, left your toes, spread your toes. And this is really an exercise, just think it's more about thinking to ground now the big toe mounts and the big toe down into the earth, 
while the other feet are still happy in the air. <laughs> okay? And then the pinky toes, the, the small one at the, the other side, no, the, the, it's, it's really on the other side, spread and try to ground the pinky toes into the ground. If it's possible, don't forget that yoga is an exercise, is a journey, okay? We don't have to reach everything immediately. Nothing is rushing in nature. And now, if it's possible, just gripping all the toes into the ground, just creating really this gripping into the ground that gives yourself the sensation to stay rooted into the ground, root. And now, just bring more attention to the left foot, because we are going to stay on this foot, on the left. When you are safe, when you feel safe, then lift up first your heel, and then lift up your knee. Now from here, very safe, open the degree that you can. This is always, you know, the first, uh, the first topic that we have to open all in the, the same degree. No, it's, it's really personal. So open the degree that you can. And this is just the first option for your tree. What, what to do with your foot? The right side, you can point like a ballerina. You can flex and spread the toes. And even if the foot is in the air, you can keep in this feeling to ground the big toe mount into the ground. This will give you a slightly internal rotation that gives you stability in your thigh, okay? Keep this, you can stay here, maybe with the right hand on your shin, and maybe you can decide what to do with the right arm, maybe you go up. But please, here, the most important cue is to squeeze in. Squeeze in the outer, if the left side, squeeze in. Everything that squeezed in, rise up. This is the first option. And then, of course, you can go on the other option where you can bring the suit on the internal tie. If this is possible for you, stay with this. If not, you have two, two more options for you. The first is just keep the toes into the ground and the heel down, okay? The, the other, just a little bit up, but please not on your knee, okay? So you can stay onto the ground, but keeping the, the, the right hips open, or you go a little bit higher, but not on your knee, okay? Or you come up on your groin and you push, you squeeze in here. The sole of your foot is pushing into the internal thigh, the left side, and the internal thigh, left side, is pushing again. Also here, stay compact in your pelvis, rooting down with the left foot, pushing down with the big toe mount into the ground. That's really important, gripping all the fingers into the ground, root down, and then you just feel that Mother Earth is charging you. And then you can feel and you can open the branches and connect to the world. Deep inhale here. Exhale it out. <sighs> inhale. Find also your concentration. Exhale it out. <sighs> inhale. Expand. Exhale. Compact and root down. <sighs> Inhale, expand, exhale, very slowly, from your option, be happy with your option, come back, don't forget, you miss a journey, release a little bit, maybe shaking, 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 why not, let's do the other side, so also here, remember, root, Root, in this case, is more the right foot. You can lift up all the toes. You can spread the toes. This is an exercise, okay? Just repeat. We have a, maybe we'll have more time during the winter, you know? So that's a good exercise. 
lift up the toes, and then you can just root down with a big toe man. Spread the other toes, and then the pinky toes down. If it's possible, this is really, really challenging. And then grip the other fingers into the ground. Now you are safe on the right side. And then you lift first the heel, the left. And then you lift up the, yeah, the, the knee. From here, please, do not go on this side. But squeeze in. It's the opposite. The right outer hip is squeezing in. The right is squeezing in. And you see, I'm going up. And then here, you can open the degree that you can. And this is already the first option where you can go and stay in your tree for today and stay happy and breathe and feel the same. The root from the right side and the elevation with the right arm. Or you can choose one option. Again, down, but keep open. The pelvis is stable, is facing to the front. The, um, the, the pelvis is really facing to the front. And the, the, the degree that you can, you stay over, down or a little bit up, not on the knee, not on the knee. They are joined. They, are, they don't want to be touched and stressed or up to your groin. Pressing the foot into the in inner thigh and the inner thigh is pressing against feeling the compact compact feeling in your pelvis compact and then charge from the ground from mother earth your trunk which are your legs and then allow this energy to expand rise up pull the belly button in and upward open the chest expand your branches up to the sky and feel the connection with universe with yourself breathing and here in the room together there is no difference between live and online we are together and we are growing together, respecting our roots. Everybody's different. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale it out. Lift the chin, lift the chest, give yourself a smile. And when you are ready, very slowly. Come back. Really good. Shake your leg if you like. And keep your feet now a little bit wider than your pelvis. Okay, we will finish our practice with a nice pranayama, which connect us with the earth and, of course, with the sky. So stay here. Keep the feet parallel, even if they are wider than your pelvis. Root down, you can keep the knees slightly banded. Don't stress your joints. And then rise up, rooting down to your feet into the ground. Rise up to the sky. Inhale, look at your tongue. The sun is shining at this moment, exactly in Frankfurt. Thank you, nature. Exhaling down to Mother Earth. Inhale, rise up. Maybe you lift up also your gaze. And look at your tongue. Exhale down to Mother Earth. Inhale, rise up. And exhale. Let's go all the way down. You inch from the pelvis and inching from the pelvis, bending the knees. Allow the sit bones to stay up toward the ceiling and just relax. All the upper body, relax your head, just move a little bit, shaking also your shoulders, and then shake, 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 Ooh, shake, 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 shake. We always have also in our immersion this crazy moment where you are shaking all the body, <laughs> shake, 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 shake your hands. 
move, move, move. Ah, feel good in your body. You know, this is what the earth practice is giving you. It's giving you energy, it's giving you power, but it's giving you also confidence that you can reach your goal, that you can face the challenge, and not only on our mat, but above all, off the mat. Oh, shake it, shake it, shake it. And then let's stay. Let's find your calm. Feeling, but the energy rising up, bringing the palms together in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Bow your chin to the heart. Close your eyes for a moment. And this is also the right time to say thank you to yourself for this time. And I personally thank myself and I thank you for your time and for being such a precious part of my life. I love you. Namaste.